Now our topic is coral reef ecosystem. Coral reef is a part of marine biomes. Rather, coral reef is an important uh, aspect of marine ecosystem or marine biomes. Next one is the ecosystem. System is the interacting part. And ecosystem is the interaction of biotic and abiotic world. So, coral reef, uh, uh, here the discussion mainly focus on the coral reef and its interaction with the biotic and abiotic world and its related consequence. Coral reef is the center of marine biodiversity. It's the highest biodiversity zone of the earth. Tropical rainforest, we are all familiar that the selva forest zone, rather equatorial forest zone is famous for the biodiversity regarding the plant species diversity and animal species diversity. Similarly, coral reef in marine ecosystem, uh, tropical rainforest in terrestrial ecosystem is a very rich biodiversity zone. Similarly, coral reef in the marine ecosystem or marine biomes is the very rich biodiversity zone. Coral reef occupies only the 1% of the total ocean basin area, but in spite of that, uh, coral reef occupies only the 1% of total uh, ocean basin area. In spite of that, it provides the habitation for the 25% of marine life. Next. Coral reef provides the foods for the million of people, just like we can collect fish, curb, all the aquatic animal, uh, all the aquatic species as a good source of protein and act as a, even uh, coral reef act as a barrier of storm. In the case, we can mention the example of Greek barrier reef in the coastal region of Australia. Australia, now Australia is very safe from the cyclone and super cyclone because of great barrier reef act as a spread breaker of the storms and waves okay next uh, in 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 few countries who like china taiwan they earn uh, lots of revenue from the fishing and tourism coral provides a supports from the animal species plant species and also provides uh, also a new source of revenue from the fishing and tourism. And uh, coral reefs is a home of more than 4,000 fish species, 700 um, species for the coral and thousands of other species, plant and animal. Rather coral reefs is a very rich biodiversity zone. Okay. And scientists estimated that in total, more than 1 million species of plant and animal are associated with the coral reef ecosystem. Okay. Similarly, uh, if here is a similarity with the terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic or rather marine ecosystem that just like the tropical rainforest in terrestrial ecosystem, very rich in biodiversity. Similarly, among the marine ecosystem, coral reef is similarly rich. So, coral, coral reef is called as a rainforest of the sea, okay. It is designated as a rainforest of the sea. Uh, last class, I have discussed that area coverage condition for the coral reef formation. So, I am not going to that direction now. So, uh, the total uh, area, uh, total uh, zone of the, the zone of the uh, coral reefs is small, mostly 30 degree north latitude to 30 degree south latitude. Mostly the warm tropical region, oceanic region. It's covered Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Ocean. Uh, I am not going to that direction, the condition for coral reef formation and types of coral reef formation. Okay, because I have already discussed all these things in uh, semester 3. Now, straightforwardly, I am going to the ecosystem of coral. Coral, uh, rather coral reef provides a stony structure, okay. But uh, like the terrestrial ecosystem, in coral ecosystem, there are producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, tertiary consumer, and all these things, producer, primary consumer, secondary consumer, we can represent to the pyramids of number, pyramids of biomes, pyramids of energy, all these things. Uh, in terrestrial ecosystem, green plant with the photosynthesis process through the help of chlorophyll traps the solar energy and produce the foods. 
in coral ecosystem zooxanthalax zooxanthalax photosynthesis is act as a producer they photosynthesis they do the photosynthesis and produce their own food it here in coral ecosystem zooxanthalax is just like the plant do on the land they are the producer okay and second step is the primary consumer in coral ecosystem coral polyps that is known as hermatypic hermatypic coral is the scientific name of coral coral polyps very small coral coral polyps they are the primary consumer they consume the zooxanthalax okay and third thing is after the death of coral after the uh, death of coral reefs after the death of hermatypic or after the death of coral polyps uh, those uh, here i would like to mention one thing the body of coral is formed by the calcium carbonate after the death of coral those uh, those death uh, after the death of the corals the body of the uh, hermatypic coral coral deposited in the shallow ocean basin and it's provided stony structure the coral reefs are uh, deposited the skeleton of coral deposited in the shallow ocean basin area and it provides a stony structure because the body of coral is formed by the calcium carbonate okay and this stony structure pro, uh, act as a habitat area act as a nisse of the lots of aquatic animal lots of aquatic plant species and there is a continuous process of food web and food chain chain these are the basic theme of coral ecosystem uh, this is the coral reef food chain those are the producer those are the producer then coral then after the death of coral the stony structure develop and lots of aquatic plant species and animal species that rather fish i mean aquatic animal species developed or survive on the on the uh, on the coral reef zone and this is the uh, coral reef uh, coral reef coral reef coral reef ecosystem or coral reef food web zone here go through this picture here go through this picture okay if you if you if you describe these things coral reef uh, in, in coral reef ecosystem in a a pyramid of numbered pyramid of biomes and pyramid of energy but in the cases of pyramids of num pyramids of biomes biomes mean the in the means means the in the basis of division on the basis of weight then it is reverse okay the here the carnivores in the coral ecosystem lies in the topmost layer and they are bigger in size and weight of this animal is gradually increased show the uh, show the the number of pyramids of biomes in coral ecosystem is inverted pyramid or inverted or reverse pyramid of the ecosystem okay uh, now come to the what are the problem in coral ecosystem first one is the overfishing second one is the global climate change third one is the higher temperature the temperature of ocean water is gradually is is ever changing has increased in last 30 years rise of sea level ocean acidification acid rain in in ocean surface is very important problem very threat to the coral ecosystem changes in the major storm pattern cyclone super cyclone uh, stone limestone mining aquarium fishing many mine fish fish mining for the aquarium and commercial purpose species stone collection from the coral reef zone coral extraction for the medicinal purpose china is the pioneer regarding that field and intensive commercial fishing and tourism those are the those incident create pressures on the coral ecosystem here i would like to mention one thing that for coral polyps are very tiny in size very small in size average diameter of polyp uh, range from 1 to 3 mm in diameter so entire coral colony grows very slowly 0.5 mm to 2 cm per year 
so it takes time to develop it takes time to um, to develop the coral coral reef or coral formation at all barrier reef all these things and it uh, it consists a coral reef a zone of coral reef consists of millions of millions of polyps okay but now environmental pollution global warming create pressure on the coral reef okay first thing is overfishing uh, overfishing is a problem throughout the world uh, in the coral reef zone and overfishing commercial fishing it creates pressure on the uh, on the food chain and food web system of coral reef second one is the collection of the precious stone and the gems uh, for the curios for the commercial purpose is an another problem as few species like uh, they are in risks they are over exploited though, though all those are commercially um, commercially mining from the ocean floor and usa is the biggest importer of the of such of the precious things they produce a uh, produce uh, lots of uh, ornaments and the decorative stone from the coral reef they collect the few species few stony structure they destroy the stony structure of corals and produce all these things and they are, all these things have international market usa is the biggest exporter or importer of such things and china also doing all these things and third one is aquarium fishing indian we are indian we are not familiar with the marine aquarium all over the world uh, marine aquaria is a, a become a hobby and it has increased in last decades and uh, it is reported that between 1.5 to 2 million of people keep salt water aquaria as a result what will do they will do they will collect more fish, uh, more aqua, more uh, marine species species from the coral reef zone. And ultimate result is the there is a reef in there is a negative impact on the coral reef and coral reef food chain and food web system. Third thing is the coral mining. Uh, Maldives are the pioneer regarding the coral mining. Uh, for the limestone for the others uh, um, for the limestone they collected lots of limestone limestone has a commercial market for the cement factory and others factory so they collect lime they collect limestone from the uh, shallow water based ocean basin area and um, they commercially prepared cement and others it used in other chemical factories uh, you, I think you, my student is familiar with the shallow ocean mining. So, in shallow ocean mining, uh, limestone mining is a very important and commercial trade, and that destroys the stony nature, the stony structure of the coral reef. Okay, and third thing is the sediment, nutrient, and chemical chemical pollution. Uh, mainly coral developed in the shallower ocean basin and shallower ocean basin uh, mainly polluted by the uh, by the human activities by the turbid it, it, it's less many human activities and the changes in riverine system changes in uh, estuarine ecosystem ultimate result will be destroy the a coral ecosystem it will increase the turbidity in the shallow water basin zone it will increase the rate of sediment deposition in the coral reef zone and ultimately turbidity and the sediment deposition uh, prevent the shallow ocean basin to penetrate the sun rays and it will decrease and it will decay the coral polyps growth and ultimately what will what will be the result and eventually they were they eventually they die okay the changes in the nutrient level up to some extent helpful for the others organism algae and sponge but changes in the nutrient level changes in the sedimentation changes in the water temperature ultimately ultimate responsible for the decay and destruction of the coral polyps and uh, th next one is the medicinal extraction 
Here I would like to mention that China is the pioneer regarding this field. Coral leaf species are overexploited for the medical purpose, mainly for the Chinese traditional medicine, as such as sea horse, pipe fish are over harvested for the traditional Chinese medicine. Okay. Coral leaves are relatively easy to collect because they are non-moving soft bodies of organism show uh, for the for the chem, for the defense for to use as a animal weapons as a chemical weapons china there is an ill practice of china they used uh, that kind of that kind of uh, marine species as for the medical purpose and for the uh, for the defense purpose too then come to the marine pollution marine pollution is very common one uh, jakarta bay singapore bay manila bay are adversely affected by the oil pollution and sometimes the boat and the ship used anti-fouling bottom paint this anti-fouling bottom paint is very much toxic compound and harmful for the coral okay then uh, irresponsible tourism some uh, tourism is a very important tool to earn revenue to support the economy but uh, some up to some extent tourism is also responsible for the uh, for the destruction and loss of the biodiversity it is reported that every year plastic bag kills about uh, 10000 marine animal and uh, plastic bag uh, sometimes uh, resemble as edible and jellyfish uh, jellyfish and other marine uh, marine animals sometimes uh, adversely affected by by um, adversely affected by that kind of uh, kind of pollution and those are the solely solely uh, solely governed by the solely influenced by the irresponsible tourism and last one is the climate change climate change is very important factor because climate change is responsible for the rise of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere here i would like to mention one thing is that ocean is the sink of ocean water is the sink of carbon carbon so here this picture i think help to show you that ocean water absorb extra carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide with the with the mixing of water it become acidic that is carbonic acid okay and h2co3 then carbonic acid react with chemical react react chemically with the cso3 that is calcium carbonate calcium the reaction of calcium carbonate with the carbonic acid the output is the calcium hydrocarbonate calcium hydrocarbonate destroy the stoniness of calcium carbonate and it it's responsible for the coral bleaching okay and the, this is ultimately the decaying situation it's ultimately um, ultimately destroy the stony structure of the coral and so acid rain and the carbon increasing carbon dioxide is an another important threat to the coral formation here this picture also describe how the ocean basin how the ocean water absorb carbon dioxide so atmospheric pollution the increasing amount of co2 in atmosphere and co2 makes its way to the ocean so ultimately changes in the chemical composition of sea water normally the range of the ph value of the ocean water normally varies from the in coral region normally varies from the 7 to 8.5 in ph scale uh, that is slightly as alkaline but lowering the ph scale after the effect of acid rain or the absorption of co2 by the ocean water the water become more acidic uh, which could be a large impact on the marine life as well as the coral reef formation okay similar effect uh, similar thing will happen for the hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid sulfur or nitrous all these things okay 
so pollution and climate change is another important thing and the increasing temperature also responsible for the uh, increasing tem temperature uh, in, due to global warming and the El Nino also responsible for the decay of coral reef and uh, it also destroy the stony structure and coral reef become more fragile due to the climate change, temperature change and uh, due to the turbidity of ocean water and ultimately increase the level of sea water. So sunlight cannot properly penetrate to the bottom of the ocean floor and that's why it will hamper the growth of the coral formation. So those are the main theme of coral ecosystem and coral structure. Then, uh, then uh, carbon dioxide is another important threat. Not only the carbon dioxide, other uh, greenhouse effect also consumed by the ocean. Our ocean is known as a sink of uh, greenhouse gases, a sink of carbon dioxide. Okay, that's why water become more acidic and temperature of the ocean water gradually increase. And all these things uh, leaves negative impact on the coral reef formation. Not only the coral reef formation, existing coral reef too. Okay, it will destroy the stony structure of the coral. Coral become clay like a fragile, fragile just like a clay. Okay, and here I would like to honor mention one thing. We are very, we are Indian. We are very familiar about the crunch cell. Each and every family, most or most of the cases of Indian. We retain more than one crunch cell for in our home for the religious purpose and India government also extra crunch cell near the Lakha Island you know in Arabian Sea Lakha Island is a coral reef zone of India okay we are extracting crunch cell each and every year from the Lakha Deep Island uh, near about the on the uh, near about the Lakha Deep Sea uh, shallower part of the Arabian Sea and this is also another leads another negative impact on the coral reef and coral ecosystem. And now thinking about the conservation due to overfishing, climate change, acidic acidic rainfall, uh, due to consumption of CO2, and due to limestone mining, due to aquarium fish mining, due to curio species stone mining and for also for the medicinal extraction commercial fishing coral are fishing coral reefs are fishing threats and now 20 percent of the oral, coral world coral are decaying condition then unesco world heritage site uh, declared as the coral coral reef zone all over the world even in the part indian part that is the lakha near about the near the lies in the vicinity zone of lakha island as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's come under the conservation policy. So, coral species, uh, species of the coral that is stony coral habit, algae, rags, shark, brown fish, carn, battle star, crab, crunch cell, crunch, and jellyfish, the all are in threat. Thousands of species and all these things are in pressure. So, there is a disruption in food web and food chain in the coral reef system because coral are in decaying condition coral are in fragile condition okay and so uh, here i would like to mention one thing it's it's take time to grow okay growth rate is very slow that is about 0.5 to 2 um, centimeter per year and moreover it's a reverse by biomass pyramid so it's uh, very important to take care about the coral ecosystem or coral reef so come to the conservation policy uh, 20 percent of the world coral reef are already in threat already in pressure so marine protected act that is global coral reef monitor network uh, formulated by the UNESCO to maintain and monitor the condition of coral reef. India government uh, for the, there are various type of coral for India government for the stony coral, black coral, fire coral and sea fans are protected by the law that is the Wildlife Protection Act in 1972 
and Sri Lanka government also formulated or enacted a law for the coral protection that is flora and fauna protection act in 1997 and 2001 world atlas of coral reef was produced by the UNEP for the world conservation they produce an atlas the distribution of coral reef and how to conserve the coral reef how to maintain the uh, ecological food chain and ecological system or the quality of coral reef they they proposed a world map world atlas for the coral reefs ultimate monitor center is the unep coral monitor world coral monitor center wcm wcmc this includes the data on the natural history of the coral reef their distribution threats and mpa Okay, these are the basic things of coral ecosystem.